In this video, I will show you how the twin troller is delivered to your home and show step-by-step -step instructions on how to assemble all the parts that came with your boat. Let's get started. The twin troller will be delivered by truck. The trucking company will contact you to set an appointment. On the day of delivery, the driver arrived on time. The freight company only delivers curbside. You are responsible to move the box to your home. The box is 10 foot long by 4 foot wide, and it is heavy. You will need help to unload. Since I have a tractor, I did not need any additional help. The driver was very helpful. He worked the lift gate to lower one end as I lowered the other end to the ground. The driver directed traffic in the left lane, and my wife directed traffic in the right lane so I could safely cross the highway. After checking the box and pallet for visible damage, I signed the invoice and the driver drove away. I moved the box to my workshop. The box is ready to open. Cut the straps and remove the top. As you can see, all parts are carefully packed by Freedom Electric Marine. Remove the parts. Remove the rod holders from inside the battery box. Cut the ends of the cardboard away from the pallet. Remove the seats from the box. Remove the Lowrance fish finder and parts from the box. The transducer has already been installed on the boat. The onboard battery charger is already installed on the boat. Remove the foot pedals and seat brackets from the box. All parts are open and ready to be installed on the boat. For easy identification, lay out the parts needed for one seat assembly. One seat support, two seat plates, four carriage bolts, four nylock nuts, and one swivel plate. The swivel plate may be immovable or difficult to turn due to the manufacturing process when the two plates were joined together. Use a rubber mallet and tap one end of the plate to break the seal around the bearings. You should now be able to turn the swivel by hand. Turn the swivel plate so the top and bottom are not aligned. Place the swivel plate in the center of the seat support frame. Insert the carriage bolts into the four holes. It may be necessary to squeeze the seat frame support together 
to push the bolts through the holes. Install the rectangular plate to each side of the swivel plate by inserting the carriage bolts and nylock nuts. Hand tighten only at this time. Realign the swivel plate to the center of the support frame. Tighten the nylock nuts alternating from one side to the other until all four nuts are secure. When tightening the nylock nuts, it's normal to have a slight bend on each of the rectangular plates. Be careful not to over tighten. Follow the same procedure for the second seat support frame. Place the seat upside down. Remove the seat screws that are attached to the seat bottom. Turn the swivel so the top and bottom holes are not aligned. Align the holes in the swivel plate with the holes in the seat bottom and install the four seat screws. Do not tighten at this time. Once all four screws are installed, tighten securely. Do not over tighten. Follow the same procedure for the second seat. In front of the boat, line up the seat supports with each rail. Slide the seat onto the rails. You may have to bend the seat support frame to fit the seat rails. Follow the same procedure for the second seat. Important! Never add lubrication to the seat rails. Seat rails are designed to fit snug enough to hold the seat position while allowing the ability to slide along the rails. The seat installation is complete. The end of each cable harness will have a securing pin as shown here. Each pedal has a female plug located in the front of the pedal control unit. In the floor of the boat, there are grooves in both the front and rear of the boat for multiple mounting locations for the pedal assembly. Place the pedal assembly in the desired location for your comfort. You will need to apply a marine dielectric grease on the plug connections for your pedal controls. Dielectric grease protects electrical connections from corrosion, seals out contaminants, seals out moisture, seals out air around electrical connections, will not harm nearby insulators, it remains in place and effective for a long time. Use a Q-tip and apply a thin coat of dielectric grease on each end of the cable plugs. Only a little bit is needed to protect electrical components. Attach the cables from each side of the pedal controls. Make sure the pin is properly aligned, then insert the plug into the pedal. 
To remove the plug, insert a small screwdriver into the slot and push in lightly, then pull the plug out. The securing pin will remain inside the plug on the pedal controller. This is how the cable harness will look after the connections are complete. For easy identification, lay out the parts needed to install the fish finder. One display unit, one mounting bracket, four number 10 by three quarter inch stainless steel screws, and one fuse. Located at the front of the boat are four pilot holes already drilled for installing the mounting plate. Use a marine silicone sealant. It is best to apply thin layers on the surface and small amounts to the screw threads in and around the holes. Applying excess amounts of silicon sealant does not seal or cure properly. Use a Q-tip and apply sealant in and around the holes. Apply marine silicone sealant along the base of the mounting bracket. Align the mounting bracket with the pilot holes. Install the four screws alternating on each side. Do not tighten at this time. Once all four screws are in, tighten until secure, but do not over tighten. Push the locking tab down. Align the plug with the three tabs inside the display unit. Carefully push the plug into the display unit until it stops. Press the alignment tabs together and slide the display unit over the mounting bracket until it snaps into the adjustable slots. To adjust the angle of the display unit, squeeze the tabs together and position the display unit in the desired angle and release the tabs. Push the locking tab up to lock the display to the mounting bracket. The Lowrance Fish Finder installation is complete. For easy identification, lay out the parts needed to install the battery box and battery. Separate the wires and place on the outside of the boat. Wires for the port side motor, wires for the starboard side motor, wires for the onboard battery charger, and wires for the Lowrance fish finder. Lay the battery box tie down strap inside the battery compartment. Install the battery box into the battery compartment. This is a press and fit installation. Push the battery box down. It will be a very tight fit. The interior of the battery box will bend in on both sides. Place the battery inside the battery box. Connect the negative wires to the negative battery post. Install the nut on the battery post and tighten securely. Do not over tighten. Connect the positive wires to the positive battery post. Before connecting the positive wire for the Lowrance fish finder, Open the inline fuse holder and insert the fuse. Push in until it stops. Install the nut on the battery terminal and tighten securely. Do not over tighten. Spray some battery corrosion preventative on the battery post and wires. NCP2 is an oil based formula that applies a viscous protection seal that does not dry or evaporate and stops battery corrosion for the life of your battery. To make the top fit, Remove the two cutout tabs located in front of the box. Use a razor and trim each side of the cutouts to fit over the top of the transom supports. 
place the top on the battery box. Tighten the strap. The battery box and battery installation is complete. Press the port side and starboard side pedals. Make sure the motors turn on. Press the power button on the Lowrance fish finder and make sure it turns on. Plug in the onboard battery charger. Make sure the lights illuminate, indicating it is charging the battery. For easy identification, lay out the parts needed to install the rod holders. The mounting brackets have already been installed. Align the rod holder slot with the tab located inside the mounting bracket. Push in to lock in place. To set the angle, Loosen the white handle, adjust to desired position, then tighten. The installation is complete. Insert the plug into the drain hole and push in until tight. Fold the handle down. The twin troller is complete and ready to go fishing. Be sure to watch my next video on how to set up your boat trailer to tow the twin troller. Thanks for watching.